Since 1983, the Athabascans Fiddlers Festival in Fairbanks, Alaska has been celebrating and preserving fiddling music that originated in the early 1900s. The festival is a major cultural event for the people of the interior, which encourages young people to continue to learn Athabascan fiddling. Enjoy one of Alaska's richest musical traditions. Listen to the old-time fiddling music from the Athabascan Fiddlers Festival on Alaska One. I never stayed up after 10 o'clock. Now, midnight, I'm still here. <laughs> I've Baskin been enjoying this for years, you know, like uh, since 1850s, and uh, it became our way of life. We do a lot of work, uh, subsistence and uh, traveling, and once we gather in the village, uh, we, we stop and we celebrate, and we celebrate with fiddle music, folk dancing, and uh, potlatches. So this is our way of, uh, of way of getting together. Picture, picture yourself being in a dance hall, packed with people and having a good time. They're not going to dance and keep quiet at the same time. They pretty much holler and have, having a good time. And uh, them days, they didn't have electric stuff. They had acoustic fiddles and acoustic guitars, and sometimes they used to drown the instruments out, you know. The very first fiddle festival we had was because uh, a lot of it was going out of style, like you know, among the villages. So we decided to preserve it. A lot of people are interested in it, so we decided to have a one-time fiddle festival, 1983, by a grant to uh, IANA, Institute of Alaska Native Arts. And it was postponed only for one year, but then it was so popular that uh, the second year was granted. And then uh, it's been going on ever since. Uh, it's not run by Grant today, it's run by its own association, at the Baskin Fiddler Association and fundraisers. And it was such a success of bringing all these musicians together and listening to the different styles and, and, and the different tempos and stuff like that. We learned that after a while, these different people can, could get together and, and intermingled their music so that uh, it created a quite unique style amongst our people. It really was a good thing for the people to look, and they did really look forward to coming to Fairbanks, you know, to uh, for the anniversary too, because they had a place to go. We visited, we had food for them, and just it was just a real good to get get together, you know. And I hope it grow more. 
bigger place and more people will be coming and more fellow players, more players will be coming to this place to play, to show their talent, you know. And I just hope they're out there, I hope these kids that really get interested in the music because they've been in our life, in our culture, native culture. And we never, you know, we never grew up without music. There's always dance, there's always music going on in the house. You hear fiddle music. I even hear it in my dreams sometimes. are forever young and music is part of expressing yourself your 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 your, your feelings and some of the music is native you know and and it's old stories that have been passed on so that young kids need to listen and carry that on you know and, and uh, it's so important that they re respected and enjoyed as we have as groups. The purpose of this fiddle festival is to teach our youth the traditional music and jigs and stuff. And uh, I thought it might open some eyes if I bring some youngsters back. So a few years back, I got involved with working with young kids in Fort Yukon with music. And I started bringing these kids back. And, these young youngsters back and playing in the festival and getting a little experience and stuff like that, traveling. Well, there's a 50-50 chance that they, they're going to get part of it back, but not all of it, you know. And as, as they go along, you know, it'll be different. It's not going to be like how him and I play. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little country rock or something in there, you know. There's some kind of beat that they're going to go to pick up country rock. They'll never pick up our style, but some of them will there, you know.
What we're seeing more of now is a little switch from traditional country western music. Now you'll see there's a little more country rock, or a little more twist and upbeat. We're seeing more and more of that. Um, I see the I see more and more young people coming in, and that's how if you're going to evolve, you have to be able to change and to attract the younger people to come and want to play the music that we have here. We are losing fiddlers, good old time fiddlers. It is a concern, but see, there's also young people that are can pick up the fiddle and play it now, just as good, maybe a little bit better. I guess it's not. There's not very many people, or there's not very many places that play this music, and it's very. It's quite something when you go down south and you play our music and for other people and they they haven't heard our music before so it's um I like to keep our tradition going it's fun because it's a different kind of music we never heard before and there's a lot of country music we play but there's still a lot more that we never heard or played before and have an opportunity to play with them is make us feel uh, lucky, like, like we're actually good at something. But it's something that to make people feel, feel that you could wake up in the morning really happy and everything. If you, you listen to fiddle music like all this, I wonder how many people in this building dancing. Yeah, it makes them feel, feel good, you know. Well, 1982, when uh, Bill Stevens and uh, Gene Fanning and Carlo, they traveled through the uh, villages, interviewing people, you know, and they, they're gonna uh, start the Fiddler's Festival, so we got a group together and so all of a sudden, by November time, they said the fiddlers was coming up. Or October, you know, we found out for sure. So that was 19 years ago, and I've been here since every year. my fourth trip here to the to the fiddle festival and and I every year every year I come I I get more attracted to it it's a it's kind of contagious that's what it is and I meet so many people every time I come here it's you know it's great
felt good, you know, people, people actually now uh, enjoy listening to me play, even around our area down in Southwest, they actually look up to us playing now, they want us to play all the time. And So they have all kinds of people coming here, like uh, from here all the way down beyond Holy Cross on the Yukon, and then over in Bethel area, and then from here to Fort uh, St um, Canada, and you know, Anchorage, and some native key people come up here from there, and down the highway. The Fiddler's Festival is meet friends, our friends that we never see for a long time. We come back together. <clears throat> From day one, there's a lot of musicians that have been gone that have performed here in the, at Baskin Fiddlers, which makes it sad. And, uh, but then we continue on to hold our own and keep on going. Uh, we know that's what they want us to do, so we just keep right on going. My biggest joy too is also seeing all the elders because many times they don't get out, they're home. Um, and this is one time a year you see many, many elders come in to dance, to listen to music, and to um, just be around people that enjoy just listening to the same kind of music. It's a tradition, I think, that was that just kind of born in you from your family and the love of music, I think. And all the musicians feel that way. And I, I, I'm so proud of Native musicians when they excel and when they're teaching their uh, own family members to play. I, I, it just warms my heart because I know that uh, they, they feel what I feel and it brings a lot of joy and happiness to it.
and gathers his few. It's a lot of fun playing guitar and it's all at the basket fiddling and hope I make it back again next year. I just love it. I'm 80 years old and I've been here every year. That's something, <clears throat> that's something the, the native people look forward to, you know. We really get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Our native people now, because of these social gatherings, are, are becoming close friends uh, with their relatives that, are, that, are, that are, they've long forgotten about, you know. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reunion type thing. And it's, it's fun, it's important. Everyone have fun, that's the main thing. I think about a festival, they don't, they don't care how good you play or how poorly you play. The fun is just being there to do it, you know, and, and that's it. I'm proud to be part of a, a wonderful group of people that are at the Baskin, that are talented, that can get together, have fun without having to um, use alcohol or smoke in a nice positive environment where you bridge the gap of young and old together. I hear some kids saying that I can't do it. It's not true. Seven years ago, I don't know nothing about the bass. No, I play with every musician that's in the state of Alaska I'm from Canada. Once you know how to do something like play the guitar and they say, oh, that guy's good and maybe he could play with us sometime. Maybe that, that would probably be something, you know, to just want to play with other people, you know, just make music together. My children from all over. I've been with the fiddling since it started and I'm so thankful from my heart that I am here with you folks tonight because you never know what's going to be ahead of us. I never thought I was going to make it but I am here. So my friends, whatever we do, wherever we go, we have to move forward. We cannot go backward at any time. I hope by God's help that this program will be kept on going, no matter what.
when this is all over tonight, about four, uh, four o'clock in the morning, well, we just all figure on. We got this year done with, we're gonna figure on meeting each other next year, if the Lord's willing. <laughs>